African National Congress has welcomed President Cyril Ramaphosa's decision to place Ndabeni Abrahams on special leave for breaking lockdown regulations. Where ANC spokesperson, that's Ule Mabe, says the lockdown is there and it's there to protect the lives of South Africans. It's safe to say that uh, the ANC has uh, reacted to the latest incident that had to do with a breach of the lockdown regulations and emphasized the message that we have been making to all of our people to show compliance in their own conduct. Because if those of us who are in leadership do things that become questionable by society, it becomes rather difficult for ordinary people out there to take whatever actions that we are saying they must be taking seriously. So it is important that uh, there is a solidarity amongst all of us that those of us who are in positions of leadership, either in cabinet, leaders of various political formations, religious sectors, cultural groupings, wherever we are, the things we do are going to be the ones that assure our people that this lockdown is serious for their own uh, condition in life. Because this lockdown conditions have been set out to really protect people's lives. So that's the take of the ANC and the reactions are coming in thick and fast. I've just seen the EFF, uh, the Economic Freedom Fighters, reacting to this. In fact, they are calling for the removal of the minister, Stelanda Beni Abrams, from cabinet for breaching lockdown regulations. So let's hear from uh, Mazwe Majola, a leadership expert now from the Worldwide Institute of Leadership and Development. This was a bit of a test, Mazwe, wasn't it, for President Cyril Ramaphosa. If you are saying to people that... Um, you are curtailing their liberties, uh, and this comes at great cost to many people, including people living in difficult circumstances where staying at home uh, can be very uncomfortable in a one-roomed shack with many, many people living there. And then you have a minister visiting a friend, a, a former member of parliament, and posting these pictures on social media doing exactly the thing that you are telling South Africans not to do. It was always going to be expected of the president to act it was indeed a test for Mr. Ramaphosa. Uh, we commend him for the decision he has made, but uh, I don't think it's not commensurate with the deed that the minister has done. Uh, the, the, for, for placing Stella only for two months is not adequate. The president was supposed to be strong, uh, and send a clear and, and very strong message to, to his comrades and to the nation as well. He was supposed to fire the minister. So uh, he was a little bit, it was a slap on the face, or it was a slap on the wrist, really. It was a very weak and soft uh, decision that he has made. Yeah, Dr. Mazur, as you speak there, you're reminding me of uh, the, uh, one of the um, government officials from New Zealand who was actually demoted after he was found on a beach, therefore not complying with the uh, lockdown regulations within the country. And I suppose that's the reference you're making that, you know, the, the severity of the punishment needs to match, uh, you know, the, the deed. Because at the same time, uh, as the press statement says, according to, to, to the spokesperson, Kusela Diko, uh, the Minister of Communications has held in very high, you know, regard. Uh, and we expect her as part of the National Council or Command Council to, of course, uh, live by those regulations. But I want to come on a point of leadership because we've seen a lot of South Africans also violating um, these, uh, you know, regulations and this lockdown regulations. Could the minister's actions be a reflection, uh, you know, of, of, of the leadership in the country, a reflection of perhaps even some South Africans not abiding by this lockdown? Of course, yes. It's a lack of consequence management. Uh, uh, leaders, especially cabinet ministers, we, we saw what Minister Lindy Wazulu did. Um, it's like they, they know that nothing will happen to them. I think this actually came as a shock even for, for Stella Dabine Abram. She did not expect this, uh, that Ramaphosa will do this, because Ramaphosa has been seen as a, a, an understanding a leader, a, a very friendly, amiable uh, leader, which is very wrong, because lead, leadership or leaders set the tone, they define the direction, they, they, they set an example, they, they must stay ahead, they must show people 
uh, they must walk the walk and talk the talk. Uh, and Ramaphosa must be seen to be consistent and decisive if he wants to be remembered uh, in his legacy as a strong leader. He will have to show people that he is really a, a, a leader that takes decision. So for giving uh, uh, Stella Ndabeni Abrams two months, uh, un, I mean, or rather uh, leave one unpaid, one paid, it's not enough. It's not adequate. But Dr. He Majola, must... wasn't that expected? And sorry to interrupt you there. I mean, w didn't you uh, at the least expect this to be the president's, uh, you know, expected sort of decision? Because when Minister Lindy Wezulu, of course, after the president had announced that they, we were in a state of a, a disaster, I mean, that video went viral, which I'm, so you show, which I'm sure you saw, that where she says that, you know, you can stay at home, however, I can't, um, because perhaps, you know, she, she she just can't wait to get outside. And there were no consequences for her actions besides us just hearing her making an apology. It was deplorable. It was, it, it, it was uncalled for. It was irresponsible and unacceptable. You know, that is why I'm saying even now uh, Stella is shocked that why the president has taken this decision on her and she, he, didn't, uh, he didn't do anything uh, to... Lindy uh, Zulu. So uh, Cyril Ramaphosa, as the president of the country, must stand up and show that he is the president of South Africa and inspire confidence to people to work together collectively to achieve uh, the, 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 this, uh, or rather to, to, to arrest uh, this invisible enemy or, or, or defeat this invisible enemy that we are facing. If he is not doing that, he will lose, uh, he, he definitely is going to uh, lose credibility. Uh, and 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 is not going to be respected because he must send a very clear message to to everyone that this is a serious matter. People are dying. I've just heard you reporting that it's about 1,700 and something or 40 something. These are human beings. There are lives of people that are dying, and we really or or rather not dying so far, but people have been affected and around 13 people right. dead. So we need to be very, very strong about Absolutely. this matter. Dr. Mazo Majola, thank you so much for your insights. Uh, he's been weighing in around the issues around the minister, Stella Dabeni Abrams.